Hi y'all, it's Karma here. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I look forward to spending a little bit of time with you. Today we're going to be opening the Cosmic Crystal Box. And Zuzu does such a great job of this box and I always look forward to opening it up. So remember with the um, subscription information, I'll give you just a really quick brief detail, but all of the other links, any discounts, will all be in the video description below. So Cosmic Crystal is a monthly subscription box with crystals. You usually get about three items, although she doesn't really say how much, how many items you get. It just kind of depends on the box that month. It's a great box for beginning crystal people or for people who are on a very limited budget and really just still want that subscription box where they get to have once a month that nice Christmas present show up for them that brightens your day. And it's a perfect amount of stones because three, four stones each month really gives you an ample opportunity to look at the stones and to learn about them and to meditate with them and get a chance to really increase your knowledge in the stones. Sometimes when you get bigger boxes and you get a bunch of stones every month, it makes it harder to keep up with your learning and to be able to really utilize those stones and get used to their energies and the benefits that they bring. The Cosmic Crystal Box is $21.95 a month with $5 shipping. So the total comes out to $26.95 a month. So before we get on to the new box this month, let's review what we got last month in the box. So last, not, last month in the Cosmic Crystal box, we received a heart-shaped pyrite stone, and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm really enjoying having that. I put it up on my altar. It's got great energy. Um, it was probably my favorite out of the box last month. And we got two large desert rose, which is also selenite. And they, remember, were bigger than any of the desert roses I've gotten in any of my other boxes. So, you know, hands down, those were the most beautiful desert rose I have in my collection. So I was really happy to have those. Then we also got a sodalite necklace, which had small tumbled stones all strung together onto a strand for a necklace. I wore it for a couple of days to put some good energy into it, and it was beautiful. Uh, and then I put it into the gift box for giveaways or gifts for those who might need it, or a client, if I have a client who needs something like that, I'll go to my box and pull out something. We'll do some type of an intention and a setting, and then I'll give that gift to them to take home. So last month's box was great. Um, I've used everything that's in there and the only thing that went in the gift box is that sodalite necklace and it wasn't because I didn't love it, it's just I have so much already that it's going to be a perfect gift for someone who needs it. So, let's get right into the box this month. Yay! Let's see, what do we have? Oops, where is it open? Open, 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 oh there it is. Okay, and I love their little box and their little logo on the top. Isn't that pretty? Whoops. And you open it up. Try not to spill it over. You've got the cards on the top that tell you what you got, and then your gems are down in the bottom there. So let's see. What do we have this time? So we've got a bag with three stones in it. And we'll start with them. And it says Root and Crown Chakra Crystal Set. So, and here's the card. So the back with the three stones in it says Root and Crown Chakra Crystal Set. So let's look at these. So the first one here looks like a red jasper raw. How pretty that is. I love when it has different colors and variations in the gems. That's really a pretty piece and a decent size too. Gives you an idea about how big it is. So let's see what it says. 
red jasper. Red jasper is a calming stone that stimulates the root chakra. It grounds and connects you to Earth's vibrations, giving you a direct connection to nature. Red jasper aids in resolving difficult situations and can be used to ground and stabilize the aura. Okay. Then we have, looks like a little tumbled black on it. Well, not little, it's a good sized chunk. Looks like I'm catching that light. Let me turn off that light. Okay, I think that didn't do too much to mess up my uh, lighting, but you'll be able to see these better. There you go. So pretty piece of black onyx just tumbled. Let's see what she says about that. Black onyx is a protective stone associated with the root chakra. It absorbs negative energies and assists those who feel like they are being drained of personal energy. It helps strengthen confidence, making you feel more secure by stabilizing mental and physical imbalances. Very nice. So um, I've been doing some more studying besides doing the crystal grids on the videos that I'm going to do. I'm also going to start teaching you a little bit later um, body grids so that you can see how you could do a body grid on yourself and use almost like what we do on a crystal grid, but lay down, set the stones around you in the geometric formations and use that as a meditation. So I'm excited to bring those on in just a little bit. So this is a great addition to kind of segue into that with you. And the last one looks like is a rainbow moonstone. You can kind of see it doesn't have lots of rainbow in it, mostly white. Usually, sometimes with the rainbow, not always. A lot of them look just like this, so there's nothing. It's not like this is a low quality stone, but I really like the ones that you can find that actually have a lot of the rainbowy colors reflecting through them too. Um, and this has just a little bit here and there, um, but not not um, tons, but it's a good sized tumble stone again. Rainbow Moonstone helps strengthen intuition and psychic perception and is associated with the crown chakra. It brings balance and harmony as well as enhances creativity, compassion, and inner confidence. So you've got the Jasper and the Black Onyx for the root chakra and then the rainbow moonstone for the crown chakra. So those are those three stones. And it looks like we've got one more. So we actually got four things this time. Oh, wow. Oh, Zuzu, this is beautiful. Let me get it out of its plastic. Oh my goodness. This is selenite and it's a selenite bowl. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at this. So it's got like little scallops on the edge. Kind of hard to see because of how white it is. And the bowl is just on the bottom and then it's a bowl. Oh, there, you can see the scalloped edges better there. So it's just like a beautiful selenite bowl. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I'm excited. This is, ah, uh, this is worth the box. That is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what she has to say about selenite. Selenite clears energy blockages in the body. Selenite can be used to cleanse the energy of other stones, activates the crown chakra, which represents the highest level of consciousness or enlightenment assists in connecting to a higher self, heightens intuition, provides mental clarity and sharpness to the mind, and helps dispel negative thoughts and emotions. The chakras for the crown and third eye, and it says, do not get it wet. Yeah, selenite will dissolve in water. So you definitely don't want to do that. And selenite really doesn't have to be cleansed. I'll use smoke, you know, my sage or sweet grass or Palo Santo on it. Um, but it actually not only doesn't need to be cleansed, but it will cleanse uh, any other stone that touches it. So this is really cool to have this little 
bowl here because literally we can put these three stones. I'll have to kind of move them around to get them to where they'll all stay because it's about full. But we can literally put those three stones in there like that and it will cleanse those stones for us. So that's pretty amazing. Oh, Zuzu, great box, great box. So I'm going to give it two thumbs up. What do you guys think? Did you love the box? I thought this was well worth the cost this month, that you actually got some added value. You know, sometimes with this box, I feel like it's about worth the money you spent for it, but not necessarily worth a lot more. Being that it's a more economical box, though, you're not going to have as much room to give great value for the amount of money that you're spending. So all in all, I'm really happy with this box, and I will definitely continue to get it. Let me know what your favorite item was, comment below, and tell me what you thought. I hope you had a great time with me today. I always have fun talking to you, and I hope that you'll consider liking this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our natural healing video, and come back often to the channel where you can say, Karma's your friend. Bye, y'all.